What's up everyone? Happy New Year. Four months ago, I made a video showing clipping software and a lot of people liked that video, but a lot of people also had many questions and issues. I personally was loving metal, but I decided to switch to Overplayed Overwolf, and that is the clipping software I will be explaining in today's video. Also, it's not just for Fortnite, you can clip any game and timestamps will be down below, so feel free to skip around. I don't usually make videos like this, I'm a Fortnite creator and I don't want to make this tutorial super long, so I'm gonna get right into it and if this video helps you, please consider subscribing, I'd appreciate it a lot. To download this software, it is very simple. I will also have the link in the description, it will lead you right to the website. Once you are here, you are going to want to click the download button at the top right. Then it should pop up at the bottom left, then you are going to want to open it, so you are going to click it. Then you are going to press yes. Choose your language, then click next. Right here, you can change where you want the software to download. I have it on my hard drive since I'm running low on storage on my SSD. This is optional, I personally did create a shortcut, but then you must accept the terms by checking this box and then you'll want to click next. Now it's going to install, then when it's finished, you can press launch. After this, you're going to click on store and search outplay, then you'll want to install the software. Once it is done, it should auto launch and it should look something like this. But if it doesn't auto launch, then just go to Overwolf, which is the first thing we downloaded just now, and it should be found in your library. All right, we have finally downloaded it. Now let's set up everything. Step one is choose your game. This is very simple. You are just choosing the game you want to record or clip. So for me, I will choose Fortnite because I want to record Fortnite. If you want to record Apex Legends, then just search Apex and then boom, you will just click it and it will be added right over here. Now, moving on to the main part, video capture. This is where you are going to set everything, quality, encoder, and audio. Starting off, we have your video resolution and FPS. This all depends on how strong your system is. The reason I chose this software for low-end PCs is because it gives you many options just like OBS Studio, but it is less heavy on your hardware. You have low, medium, and high, or custom. If you're watching this video, medium will probably be where most people can handle. It is good quality, but it favors performance. High setting might actually work for some people, but you really have to play around with your settings. If you are an extremely low-end PC, like super low-end, then I will go with low or medium. If your PC is decent, try medium to high. But you also have custom, which is exactly why I chose this. For example, if you choose 1080p 60fps, you don't have to have 1080p 60fps. You can have 1080p resolution, but 30fps. You can change things up a bit. When I choose high, it sets my bitrate to 12,000. What you can do is set your resolution to 1080p, and then you can change the frame rate and your bitrate according to your needs. I have my resolution on 1080p, but I lowered the bitrate down to 10,000 so I can get more FPS while my recordings still look very nice. You can do the same with low, medium, and even high settings. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you are on low end PC, so go on medium and make that your base starter. From here, hop into a game and see your frame rates and see if your game lags. If it doesn't and you are fine with the quality, then keep it like that. If you can go higher, increase it slowly, 6000 bitrate, and then go up to 8000, to 10,000, and just keep testing. Do the same for frame rates. Start at 30 frames, do 60 frames, do 90 frames, do 120 frames, but honestly, 30 or 60 frames is gonna be where most people stand. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that this software gives you so much options, you must test out and see what your PC can handle. Now, this is extremely important, advanced settings, your encoder and preset. You will have two options, your CPU or your GPU. I know for a fact that my CPU is way stronger than my GPU, so I set it as X264, which is your CPU. And then the other option will be your GPU. It will be obvious, the software tells you. Look down to this preset tab and click it. The faster you set it at, the less CPU it will use. So if I set this at ultra fast, then that will reduce the quality a lot, but it will favor your performance in game. The slower you set it at, the more it will use your CPU. So if I set this at fast, then you will definitely experience lag and frame drops in your game, but your recordings will look so good. I don't recommend going at fast, but in simple words, higher on the list, less CPU usage, worse quality, more in-game FPS. Lower on the list, more CPU usage, better quality, less in-game FPS. If you are using a GPU, it is simple. Automatic preset is the only thing I'm not fully sure of in this video. I'm assuming that this preset means that it will run based on how good your GPU is, but just ignore this preset for now because the others are much better. You have balanced, speed, and quality. If you set it at balanced, then it will be a little bit of both quality and speed. It won't favor one side. If you set it at speed, then you will get less FPS drops and lagging game, but you will worsen your recording quality. If you set it to quality, then you'll get more FPS drops and lagging game, but higher quality recording. Audio isn't really complicated. One is for your game sound and the other is for your microphone. I don't recommend recording your mic unless you really want to, but unlike OBS, this software doesn't give you the options to add noise cancelling and suppression, meaning you will most likely have background noise if your PC or laptop is loud. Now, all you have to do is set the proper device and you're all done for the audio. Moving on to storage, this is where your clips will save on your PC. Manual manage is what you will want to choose so you don't lose any recordings that you might want to keep. Basically, you have full control if you choose this setting. Video folder is where you will set the location of your clips and recordings. 
click change and simply choose the drive and folder that you want. Notifications, all of this is optional. We are not done, so do not click off this video yet, there's still one important step, which is setting your hotkeys and how long you want your clips to be. You can't record or clip if you don't have a hotkey. What you are seeing here is the default hotkeys. Capture mode, I set that to manual since I want to have full control and I don't really want every single game to be recorded or every single fight to be clipped. If you set it to full session, then overplayed will start recording the moment you open the game, even if you are in the lobby. If you set it to highlights, then overplayed will do its best to capture all the highlights such as the in-game fights and kills. Full match, overplayed will start recording the second your game starts, so for example, I play Fortnite, it will start recording once I'm in the pre-game lobby. Before duration is very simple. When you start recording, do you want outplay to capture anything before that? So for example, if I set it at 60 seconds, then when I start recording, it will clip the last 60 seconds and then it will start recording from there. If you have it on 0 seconds, then it will only record from the moment you started recording. Record a replay is your clipping settings. Here you set a hotkey and how long you want your clips to be. Most people will want to choose around 30 to 60 seconds, and after duration is just the opposite of before duration. Take a screenshot, show or hide outplayed are completely optional settings. And that is everything you need to know about the software. I hope this video helped. I hope you were able to understand everything I was saying in this video, as well as the visuals. If you have any questions, then leave it in the comments below. I will be happy to help you guys out. Please consider subscribing as it does help me out a lot. And remember that I'll be posting Fortnite content. I just wanted to make this video since a lot of people were looking for it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.